our aims at Watershed Writers are to find writers living in the region who have been carrying their cultural projects forward, doing the hard work and often not getting the credit they deserve. In our first five episodes, Aaron Bow talked about blood magic, writing YA fiction and hunting with eagles, Janice Jolie sang beautifully and spoke eloquently about race and politics and playwriting. A trio of poets from the anthology Sweet Water, Poems for the Watersheds, talked about water, ecology, and global environmentalism. Another trio, the writers and editors from Textile Magazine, talked about community-engaged writing and diversity on the page and in organizations. Mike Chalk shared his search for his Inuit heritage, and Sarah Tolmey talked about how Ursula K. Le Guin gave her a hand up when she least expected it. Future episodes will feature Janet Rogers, the Haudenosaunee writer who has started up her own press on Six Nations, and Luke Hathaway, the former Waterloo writer who has been working from Nova Scotia recently. I had an inkling that a few of these stories were out there and I've had a surprise with every single episode because writers always have so much more to say if you give them a chance to say it. So Watershed Writers is for readers and also for writers of all stripes, local, national, well-known, unknown, with a first publication or with many publications. We're living up to our tagline, listening local, talking global, as our show and podcasts are heard throughout the Grand River country and beyond. Yeah.